Hello, 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 Cancers. And thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind, my readings are general. May or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, Cancer. Okay, so Cancer, let's see what we have for you. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is wanting to come in and make you a big offer, or maybe you're wanting to make a big offer, or maybe this is a lump sum of money. Ace of Wands, that's two aces. Okay, tell me what this is. This is big. Ten of Pentacles, somebody, either somebody is about to propose, or somebody is about to make a serious gesture about wanting to be with you. It's very passionate and it's very stable. Could be a Cancer I mean, what could it could be a Cancer, but it could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus, or an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But the offer is definitely about to be made. The Star card. This is all major arcana too. It could be with an Aquarius as well. Somebody is wishfully thinking the will of fucking fortune. I've drawn five cards, and four of them are major arcanas, and the one that's not a major arcana is still a big deal with the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to plan how they're going to come in and make this big-ass offer. Because they're worried if you're going to accept it or not. Or they just are, are doing some heavy planning here. Could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this person is in the energy of really hiding what they're about to do. Spirit, what is this person planning? Oops. Something that took them long as hell to do. What is it, Spirit? Nine of Cups, something that's going to make you very happy. Well, Eight of Wands, so this is something you won't want to tell your friends about because it's a big change for you. So you got somebody coming in here wanting to make a really big offer to you. They're hopeful that, you know, things will turn in their favor. They want stability with you. They're planning. I, this is something that took a long time for them to come up with, but I feel like they're they're executing their plan. It's going to be something that makes you extremely happy. King of Pentacles. This person is somebody who plans on being with you for the long run. Eight of Pentacles. And they're putting the work in to make sure that it happens just like that. Oh, shit. What's happening up in this piece? Ten of Swords. This person does not want to lose you, so they're going to keep you, Cancer. Somebody may be planning to propose or this is something big. If it's not a proposal, it's like a reassurance that you guys are going to be together forever. It's something that's going to make you extremely happy. It's something that took a long time to come. But they're serious. This could even be a commitment if you've been feeling like somebody was dragging their feet about that. This can be deciding to move in be, after a period of not doing it. This is something big, though. Something to show that they really want this relationship. It's extremely big for you. What is this person's plans and actions? The justice. I, I mean, the judgment card. Still trying to, to figure out how exactly they're going to execute this plan. They may be out looking for, you know, whatever it is that they're, they're trying to plan. This person's planning. They're out looking for what they need to do or, you know, they're, they're not thinking about what nobody else has to say. They're doing what they want to do because they love you. Whoa. Cancer. Page of Swords. They're, they're, they're researching something. Could be a ring, a vacation, a trip, a house. A high ticket price item. They may want to buy you something. But this person is searching for something that they know that you will like. Because they know you got expensive taste. You're elegant. They want to get you something that's going to have you like ooh and an eye and top shit. And they're a boss or they're bossy. So they want to make sure they come with the right shit. They look at this. Seven of Cups. They're trying to figure out what you like. Look at this. They're, they're going around crazy. This is somebody going to every store looking for something. Or looking on every website looking for something. But they're not telling you. This is cute. Okay. So let's see. What is the outcome? What is the outcome here? What is the outcome? 
the moon card a secret that they're not telling you. Something hidden here. Seven of Swords, because they're planning something. Ace of Swords, but they're going to let you know in a minute. Three of Cups, it may be some type of celebration. It could be your birthday. It could be something for your birthday. I hope I didn't ruin it. It could be something for your birthday. Okay. Okay, so what is the advice, Gemma? I mean, what is the advice for Cancer? Ace of Pentacles. Accept this offer. High Priestess. Don't, don't fuck it up, okay? Now that you know that something is coming in for you, don't fuck it up. To a worm. And don't, because this may be something where somebody, they may, somebody may invite you somewhere and you may be like, I don't know if I want to go. Bitch, go. It's going to be the happiest time of your fucking life. All right? Wow. Very positive reading. All right, so... I'm going to get you guys love oracles for every sign. If you are dealing with a Aries, religious factors are involved. It says your love life is being influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path. If you are dealing with a Taurus, worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. If you are dealing with a Gemini, it says let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. If you are dealing with a, another Cancer, this says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring you romance. If you are dealing with a Leo, it says, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. If you are dealing with a Virgo, it says, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. If you are dealing with a Libra, it says, make the effort. Great love is worth, it's worth taking the steps guided to take. If you are dealing with a Scorpio, it says wedding. This situation involves marriage. I lost my place. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. Scorpio has wedding. Okay. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, we have soulmate yes this is your soulmate if you are done with a capricorn it says codependency ain't don't they always got some shit going on addictions are affecting your love life if you are dealing with an aquarius it says let your friends help you ask and accept support from others if you are done with a pisces it says forgiving and learning as you release and heal from the past you express you experience more love in the future bottom of the deck is retreat they got wedding fucking uh shit on wedding attire it's time to disconnect from disconnect from the world oh okay let's get one card from the rebel deck for you guys eat your fucking vegetables y'all know y'all don't eat some shit made by mother nature you're going through some tough shit all right thank you guys